everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Caress. I'm going to be sharing with you this DIY bra on a rice spoon that I made. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing I use, well, you're going to need, <laughs> is some wire, which you get from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need some metal chains, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use them yet, but you might need them. You can get this from Hobby Lobby as well. Let me just tell you, everything here is from Hobby Lobby. You're gonna need some trim, which had like rhinestones on this. You're gonna need some lobster cloths, clasps, sorry. <laughs> lobster clasps. You're gonna need these so you can be able to hook your bra together. And you're gonna need some tweezers for those little hard spots that you just can't seem to reach. And some scissors. All right, so first let me let you know, I took my bra into Hobby Lobby with me. That way I can get measurements for my bra. So I just took the chain that the lady uh, gave me and I measured it against my bra. And that's how I got the measurements for my bra, like rhinestone bra. Now you also wanna take the chain and put it around your underneath your bra because just to make sure that it won't be too tight or too loose on you. Mine was a little loose so I had to make sure I go a little bit smaller. You'd be surprised of uh, what size you are. Then I took my the rest of the uh, chain and I put it against my breast. We're all grown here. <laughs> against my breast and I measured that also just to see like how it would look and make sure it would fit comfortable and make sure the length was great. Now, but this part is going to be the uh, it's going to be the shoulder, like the straps. I put that across just to make sure that measured out well, uh, good as well. And just kind of you kind of like eyeball it, you know. Just look in the mirror and see how you want it, how long you want it to be, and you kind of you know picture in your mind how you want your bra to turn out. All right, so now that you have all the measurements out of the way. I try to make this as simple as possible. Just go ahead and lay out your pieces so you can map out how you want to do it. Yeah, this part is really important so that way you can go step by step and you're not trying to guess where you're at. Alrighty, so now I'm just taking the two pieces that's gonna go across your breast in the front. Of course, in the front, duh. You're gonna wanna lay them across each other so you can see how you're mapping it out. And when you start to sew it together, you can see how it's gonna turn out, if that makes any sense. So I'm just flapping it back and forth just to see like where I want it to go at before I make it permanent. So I'm taking my wire and I'm gonna go in and out not like, you know how when you sew, just go in and out and just keep looping it around because you don't want it to be bulky. You want it to remain as flat as possible. So just take your time and put the wire all the way through and then go in and out from the end. It's kind of hard to explain it, but you see. See, it's very simple. So next, I'm gonna be adding in the bottom piece. And I'm gonna do that same in and out method that I did before at the top. Very, very easy. Like I said, take your time and map out each step before you start putting them together. Very easy. Now that I'm looking at it, I wonder if they have this in gold. Might have to make me another one. <laughs> since this was very easy to do. Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you right here how I'm going to close it together. Make sure that you always, at the end when you're finished sewing them on together, make sure you always fold your pieces to the front of the bra. You don't wanna do it to the back, because the wire will stick you. So make sure you fold them forward. I almost forgot to mention that. 
Now for the chain part, these are the claps that you're gonna need. And you're gonna need probably about eight or 12 of them. It just depends on how wide you are and how tight you want your bra to be. Just gently twist it a little bit and then you can connect them together. And then I'm gonna take my lobster claps and apply that on there also. This is how they should turn out. It didn't take me long to put these together at all. Just make sure you uh, close them back really tightly because it took me a while to like achieve that and it kept coming loose. So make sure you put them tight on together, like close it all the way because it is so annoying if you don't. But anyway, this is how it should turn out. You should have both pieces. And you can add as much chain as you like because you never know. You might grow, you might gain weight or anything. So you just want to have as much room as possible. Right here, I'm going to cut my leftover pieces. And these are the, uh, this is the piece that you're going to use going across the bra. It was really hard to find a piece that had like a clasp on the end. So what I ended up doing was just gluing it on there. It took like forever to try to, um, do like the clasp, so I just gave that up because I was not about to be all day doing that. So I just used my E6000 glue. This glue comes out clear, it dries clear, it's transparent. So I just applied this. I'm gonna show you in this next clip how I applied it on the, uh, on the chain. All I did was just apply them all the way up to the bra. So I used the glue and I put it on the sides of the chain, if that makes sense, I hope. You can understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, you clip it. Oh, and also right here, I'm just showing you, I clipped the, the chain, but make sure you pull it down if you get this chain from Hobby Lobby because the uh, rhinestones will slide off. So make sure you secure it with the glue. But anyway, just go ahead and apply that and just keep applying as much lines as you want. And that is going to be your very last step. It didn't take long to make this bra at all. It was really fun and very exciting. And I was ready to put on my bra and shine like bright like a diamond. <laughs> this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for this, but <laughs> I didn't know how else to show you guys. But this is how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you decide to try this out, or make it in another color, make sure to tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see how yours comes out. And as always, love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, and I forgot, make sure you guys subscribe. We're almost close to a thousand, so I'm gonna be doing the giveaway. Love you, bye.